looks like I'll be seeing your father sooner than I planned. Well, I'll finally get to thank him face to face for taking that bullet for me. See my wife? She's in the bedroom. I nearly as much fun when you're the one being cheated on. Especially when it's in the family. Cooler heads it's must prevail. your brother's keeper. I'll be the first to tell you we're not brothers. Still, he respects you. He hates my guts. If I could, I would leave the family business to you. Thank you. The truth, I'm already way more entrenched than I ever wanted to be. I'm here for you. And only you. You've got to promise me you'll do whatever it takes to protect the family. I think of you as a son, even though you're not blood. Of my outfit. Your parents would be proud of you. All you gotta do is pay more than impatience or dig up a little dirt. Well, you know I don't approve of your tactics. Here, we can't use this in court. Every bit of intel helps. How long has he got? <laughs> ah, scum's a tough old bird. He's probably gonna hang on for months. I hope he dies slowly and painfully. Matt will put Anthony in charge. Oh, the most sadistic of the bunch. God help us. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. I'm not having this debate with you today. But what I can't figure out is this guy. They obviously have someone clever in there, laundering all their dirty money through philanthropy, raw land franchises, you name it. Even our best forensic accountants can't track it back. Yeah. This guy's the brain of the bunch. Hopefully our house cleaning operation on their southern call girl ring will put a stop to their cash flow for a minute. We need more. We really need a break. <sighs> oh, I gotta run. I have hot meal duty today at church. Of people you're going to church with. Why don't you come with me and find out? Yeah. I feel naked without it. It's called trust issues. Yeah, well, I have enough of them for a lifetime. Do you blame me? <laughs> Bye. Bye. Have fun at church. With your gun.
waiting the car, Johnny. Nobody comes in, you understand? Yep. Get out. Hey. Kid. Get out of here. Go! Get in there. Hey, Susan. Hey. You know that break you asked for earlier? Yeah, I actually prayed for one. Why? Maybe there is someone up there after all, listening to you at least. An Italian stallion in the Torino stable has been dipping his wick in the heir apparent's marital will. How dumb do you have to be to think you could get away with that? What? See you next month. Inside guy says that the boss to be is on the warpath. Fool's a sitting duck in the middle of the collections over at the gym theater. I got a couple of guys going over there to pick him up now, catch him in the act, you know, basically save his ass. If we rescue him and then threaten to cut him loose, he might flip, cough up some intel. You are reading my mind, and I'm sure they'll let you have a go at him once we get him in a controlled environment. All right, thanks, Susan. Cuss. Didn't expect to see you here. I think you might be pulling that dose. Had some business nearby. Killing two birds. Yeah. You two know each other, right? We met. Having had enough with the bookies. Yeah. Unions paying on time. Drug sales are steady. The girls. Not one's giving the DA a thing. In order place. She ever had. Yeah. Well, she lied to me, too. People versus Anthony Torino. The charge, murder in the first degree. What's the plea? The plea's not guilty, Your Honor. And the people on bail? Miss Jones, it's not often we see the DA at a bail hearing. Exactly. Our argument, Your Honor, thank you 
for making it for us. I mean, the prosecutorial bias in this case is unprecedented. I mean, there is clearly a conflict of interest when we have the supposed witness prosecuting the case. You finished? I'm done. Thank you. Special circumstances, Your Honor. ADA Jackson had a family emergency. The people strongly recommend this dangerous criminal be denied bail. He is a significant flight risk, and his family is notorious. Your Honor, okay, Your Honor, if our court system based guilt on familial association, I dare say we'd all be up here defending ourselves. I mean, Your Honor, this is the first time my client, the individual, not the whole family, has ever been charged with any crime of any sort. He was caught red-handed at the scene of the crime, still holding the murder weapon. Your Honor. That's circumstantial, we... Your Honor. And self-defense. How so? My client walked in on his beloved wife being brutally beaten by his own cousin after she rejected his sexual that advances. That is ridiculous. You know, it's a That's good thing ridiculous. he arrived when he did because That's Mr. Right. Torino here saved her life. He is not the evildoer. He is the hero. Your Honor, the defense requests a case dismissal due to lack of admissible evidence. That's a bit premature, Mr. Flanders. His fingerprints were lifted from the murder weapon. Ballistics matched the slug that um, was recovered. Actually, no, Your Honor. Yes, unfortunately for us, the police have misplaced the alleged murder weapon. Already anticipated, Your Honor. The Torinos do have ties indeed, but the fingerprints have already been sent to the crime lab. Sadly, Your Honor, all the evidence that would have proven my client innocent has either been lost, destroyed, contaminated, or misfiled. The chain of custody in this case is so badly corrupted, there is no hope of the truth ever coming to light. As such, Your Honor, I'm I get it. Next time, save the theatrics. Miss Jones? There are four eyewitnesses. Um, five, actually, Your Honor, two of whom aren't willing to testify. They're not quite sure what they saw. We also have revised statements, Your Honor. One from Miss Gilda Torino, who I'm sure you can imagine was very distraught at the time. We also have one from a Mr. Johnny Graham. He works for the Torino family, also witnessed the incident. Uh, I think his statement is... It is worthless. Your Honor, we're talking about a lackey driver who is on the Torino payroll. How is that even remotely credible? And I, I need to see a copy of... Your Honor, I too... I'm an eyewitness, and there are two other witnesses. The forensic okay, evidence honey, in this case, David excuse for the me. Trial. Well, that was a lot of fun. Bail is set at $1 million. Mr. Torino will surrender his passport and wear an electronic monitoring device. Now get out of my courthouse. I need to call you back. That was no gas leak. That was a hit. And Chris would be dead too. I am telling you, we have got to get him and Angela into WITSAC ASAP. Now, I know you're not a fan of the program, Elizabeth, but this is the only way to keep them safe. It's just so unfair. We're going to take them away from their families. Honey, Chris doesn't have any more family. Friends, their entire lives, they're going to spend the rest of their lives looking over their shoulders. Come on, witness protection, that's no way to live. It's the only way they can live. And let me remind you, we have another witness who is in equal danger. Oh no, no, do not start. I, I am staying out here, I'm prosecuting this case. You know how hard I've been trying to get 
white collar charges to stick. If I could put Anthony Torino away for murder. Liz, you are in grave danger personally. The man knows who you are. He knows where you live. I am your friend. I am just telling you like it is. They won't cross that line. Oh. Honey, I know that you don't trust anyone, except for that god of yours. But I am telling you, right now, you've got to put your faith in me. Please, go home. Pack. I'll pass. Your Honor, the medical report on Mrs. Torino's bruises proves that they occurred many hours before this premeditated murder. The GSR results and the fact that his victim's gun hadn't been touched in days leaves no reasonable doubt as to Mr. Anthony Torino's guilt. I beg you, for the safety of our community, to revoke his bail. He is a dangerous criminal who ought not be free on the streets. Do you have a rebuttal to this new evidence, Mr. Flanders? A very... Detailed one, Your Honor. I was afraid of that. It's late. We'll reconvene Monday morning at 9 a.m. <laughs> Mr. Torino, you may want to pack some spare underwear Monday. Miss Jones, um, what do you think the verdict will be? I'm, I'm, I'm confident. I'm confident that Mr. Torino will be exactly where he belongs, which is behind bars. Is okay. Gilda Torino going to testify? Uh, no, his wife, unfortunately, still refuses to testify. How are you going to convince her to testify, then? Uh, you know, just, just, single, just, just one out. more question, Let's go. please. Um, how is the jury selection going? I'm confident that any jury we seat will see Mr. Torino for exactly what he is, which is a brazen criminal who thinks he can commit murder in broad daylight, a coward who believes I he said, can operate above the law. Are you sure about this? Then have your business, Johnny. Max finds out. Max ain't gonna find out. What? She ain't gonna rest until there's a needle in my arm. You understand that? It's called self-defense. Well, then let me take her out. <laughs> yeah, right. Johnny grows up. <laughs> let me put some of that target practice to good use for once. There's a big difference between shooting at a target and shooting something that actually breathes. You know you're gonna be the number one suspect. No matter how this goes down, you got a tracking device on your ankle. Let me drop you off somewhere. Public, really public. You make a lot of noise. And I'll take care of it. I think you're too chicken shit to pull this off, Johnny. No one knows who I am. There's no one lower profile in the family. Just let me prove myself to you. You get one shot. Don't mess it up. You make sure this is at the bottom of Lake Norman before morning. Okay. doing here? Memorial support, huh? She in there? Oh, man, I rapped on her door like a half hour ago. There's no one home. Good. I'm gonna drop on her. Crap! Get up! Never take your eyes off the target, Johnny. <sighs> Can you guys just let me do this? Look at Johnny becoming a man, huh? Uh -huh. Don't want an audience?
تاجه یک این دقیقه I can't believe they got Johnny. <laughs> well, I believe it. Besides, it's no skin off my back. In fact, it couldn't have worked out any better, except that DA's still alive. I guess Johnny's not the marksman everyone thought he was. He just doesn't look the type. Oh, honey, they rarely do. No. No, there's something else going on here. This is like a huge, big, like, no-no, isn't it? I, mean... I managed to hold on to at least one bullet for forensics this time. So I get why me, but why you? I don't follow. Your record's clean. Even your credit report's spotless. That's, that's a crime now? This might not even be you. Well, you're bright enough for identity theft. Okay. Well, uh, quiz me. School. Or an MBA. Undergrad. Wake Forest. Parents. Both deceased. Violent crime. So what are you doing neck deep in the Torino cesspool? Max adopted me. No, no, no. I ran a file. I want answers. What happened to you? This might be news to you, but, uh, you know, my family might look good on paper. They work for the Torinos, too. And you never learned from their mistakes? I didn't have much choice in the matter. Oh, you always have a choice. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> he said, I was sorry, and I meant it. Back up. Back okay, up. Okay, okay. Okay. So you said you were sorry, and that's just gonna make it all better? Aren't you Christians supposed to like forgive and forget? Forgiveness doesn't eliminate the consequences of your actions. As a man sows, so shall he reap. Good old ball, huh? Yeah. You may know your Bible, but you're obviously a stranger to its author. We still got two witnesses out there we need to get to. Get the locations yet? Not yet. They sunk them deep into witness protection. Remember that cheating spouse carjacking hit I did as a favor a few months back? I think it's about time I called in that shit. I am done playing with you. This is your chance. You can wipe the slate clean. You can start a new We've life. We've never lost anyone in witness protection. All you have to do is testify and agree to a polygraph. That's it. You're just not listening to me. 
You don't have to wait months for a murder trial. Do you have a pen? All right, look. Anthony, he runs a private sub-S corporation. Nets him millions and millions of dollars. All right, you can easily nail him on tax evasion. Basically, I mean, he comes in dirty over here, it comes out clean, sourced, and seasoned over here. Right. What about Max, Vince? You're gonna have to help us take down the entire Family. No, look, I'm giving you Anthony, and that's more. More than enough to warrant my freedom. I mean, he's the most dangerous to you and everyone else, and you know that. What is this? Honor among thieves? Max was like a father to me. What do you mean, was? Is. <sighs> he's gone. But you're willing to turn in your brother. Vince is the closest thing I've ever had to a brother. And I'm not giving you him. Now, Anthony, I'll give you him on a silver platter. You get to recoup all sorts of taxpayer money, take the credit for it, and I'm out of here. So you're the brains in the family. You got any word yet from Johnny? Not yet. I got a couple of names you can call her. They're sprung. Anthony seems to think a little time in jail might do him some good. It's good medicine for Anthony. Not for Johnny. They're not dead yet. I'm still calling the shots here. You hear me? Yes, sir. I'm in no hurry to be chasing Anthony around and cleaning up his mess anyway. Uh, that's why we need Johnny back here. Make sure Anthony listens to him. You get Johnny's back. He's always had yours. I've always been able to count on you, Vince. You can still count on me. It's not bad. <clears throat> What about these guys? <sighs> what can I say? You'll have to testify. Testify why? Come on, I've given you everything. He's right. Family doesn't even have to know where the information came from because we can prove it all now. Anthony Torino? <laughs> Anthony Torino. Who wants to know? Mr. Torino, we're going to have to place you under arrest. I think you might have your wires crossed the deck. My hearing's not until Monday morning. Actually, you're under arrest for racketeering, bank fraud, forgery, extortion. Okay. How about you give me a moment to say goodbye to my pops? He's not well. He could pass away anytime. Make sure there are no surprises. At least get a little privacy.
Anthony, my son. Your boy Johnny turned on his pop. He did this. Johnny, and you promise, promise me. You have my word. I need a crew. Old timers only, you understand? Only guys we've used for years got a boss. Excuses, you understand? You get the locations and identities to Vince Tronto. Because whether I'm in here or I'm out, I can always reach you. Your dad died. Told you I'd be seeing you soon. You take care of that business. Or else. I'll take the bar all over again in whatever state you put me in. We can't, Liz. That's the first thing they'll look for. I'm protecting you. Give this new life a fair chance. After God made people, many families lived in the world, but most of them did not obey God. But Noah obeyed God. Unit 53 arriving at Weiss Funeral Home. Supervised visitation by inmate Anthony Torino.
I'm sorry for your loss. I'll give you a few minutes. time. No witnesses this time. Last words? Just two. Thank you. Come on, you're taking all the fun out of this. Vince, if I knew my life was gonna come to this, I would've let Anthony get away with murder. I mean, a freaking sheep farm, are you kidding me? Beg for your life! I would! If I had one! I mean, there's a difference between being alive and barely living. Look who's getting all philosophical. Despite the circus. Good to see you. You're not very good at this, huh? Not really. Yeah, Max was really hurt by your betrayal. I didn't betray him, and he knows that. How you figure? I said I would do what's best for the family. And that's what I did. Wasn't in Anthony's best interest. Anthony is not what's best for the family. You know that. I had no choice. You always have a choice. Not any that I wanted. No one ever said life was fair. Now you? look who's getting all philosophical. Vince, I wanted out. I wanted to just, I don't know, start a new life. But you can't. I can't. I can give you your old one back. Well, that sounds tempting. I never thought it would, but it does. Anthony will shoot me on sight. With him in jail, Max could pull rank. Give me another shot. Don't get much news out here, do you? What do you mean? Max wanted just that. Give you another shot. That was his dying wish. Should I say before Anthony put him out of his misery? You're the best, Johnny. I need you. I know where the DA's hidden. Well, we have another chance. Kind of blew up in your face the last time, didn't I? No. Please. All right, here's the DA. Ooh. Karen, we're running low on these sandwiches. Brussels sprouts. People keep giving us Brussels sprouts. Who eats Brussels sprouts? Brussels sprouts? No. Mm. 
Aaron, you okay? Yeah, I'm... I'm fine. You sure? Okay. We get this. Oh, it's not heavy. Have you seen Aaron? Have you... Aaron? years in WITSEC, we haven't lost one single witness. And now you're telling me what? We got two in the last few days? Look, I know she was a friend of yours. Is, is a good friend, Mike. And this is Johnny Graham, another witness who disappeared yesterday. He's worked for the Torinos for years, second generation, as a matter of fact. Thank you, Susan. I read the history report. Well, then you should know that he is probably the one who kidnapped Elizabeth. Yeah? Well, how do you find out where she was? Because I'm telling you right now, if they've hacked into our system, then God help us. We can do without his help. We have over 17,000 people in WITSEC. Now, those people gave up their lives to help us out. Now, someone here tell me that that's not all compromised. Mike, you are blowing this way out of proportion. Both of these disappearances are linked to the Torino case. It has everything to do with that crooked family. I'm names telling you. of every person that has accessed the file on both of those two. We have one safeguard on top of another. Well, how's that working? Not too good, huh? Get those other two witnesses in a safe house and get Marshall Stark on this. Oh, come on, not Stark. Yeah, he's the best 1811 we have in the field. And if this isn't a special op, I don't know what is. Well, now, people! Just let me out. Just let me out. I promise Shh. I won't present. Look, just tell me where Chris and Angela are, okay? Hey, look. Please. No. No? What? You would have been dead twice. Twice, if it wasn't for me. I've, I, I mean, I saved you. You yeah. saved me? If you wasn't such a lousy shot, I'd be dead. Oh, you tried to kill me! I could shoot a fly off a bottle! I... I never had any intention of ever, ever killing you. Why on earth would I let you trip that alarm? 
found you once, and they can find you again. You're a lot safer with me than you are with them. I swear to God, you better just trust me. I swear to God. I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't want to do this. You know how to fix a car? Do you know how to fix a car? No. I'm an accountant. One. What? Hi, ma'am. How you doing tonight? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Quiet. It is very quiet here. Tonight. Quiet here tonight. Yeah. Peanut. Love peanut. Now, how much is this? Twelve dollars. Hey, Christopher. Yeah, paying for Sadie Travers. How much for? Uh, Peanuts. Three ninety-eight. You Catholic? I'm a Southern Baptist, but I've got friends, and uh, we're kind of traveling. Is that your car out there? It doesn't look like you're going very far. No. <laughs> you need a lift? Yes. Yes, that would be great. I would really appreciate that. All right. I can handle that. You coming? Which way are you two headed? Oh, anywhere but here. <laughs> I heard that before. Look, they got to the DA before I even got there. Do you have the locations of the others? Look, I'll start heading in that direction right now. Just call me when you get the addresses for the other ones. Okay, yeah. Well, we'll probably be in Charlotte by tomorrow evening. <sighs> I'll probably be in Charlotte by tomorrow evening, man. I hitched a ride with a truck driver. Yeah, all right, man. All right, be cool. Bye. Bye. Let me use your phone. Not if you're calling WITSEC. WITSEC is a federal program. I work for the state. We can't trust anyone right now. When are you going to get that three call? Well, I don't know where the others are at. But if you let me use your phone to make one phone call, I can probably get that information. Just let me use your phone. Okay. No grabby grabby. I'm going to bed. Look, maybe you should just... Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Talk? Don't talk to me. Hey. How you holding up? I've had better days. Any word on a missing couple? Not yet. Stark says he's on it, but he's pulling his usual Lone Ranger, keeping everybody in the dark. You got any news? Yeah. We found a back door into the database. Let you switch users and completely bypass the fingerprint and retina scans. Brilliant. Lowest bidder contracted that software? <laughs> well, according to our computer log, every single user in the office has accessed the files in those four witnesses including myself and you. How is that possible? Well, it's complicated, but if you have a username and a password and you know what you're doing, you can pull it off without a trace. Cover your tracks. Well, then it'd have to be someone higher up. Yeah. Someone like you. Yeah, that's funny. Don't be surprised if somebody else is answering my phone the next time you call me, though. It's only paranoia if someone's not really after you. Yeah, we both made our fair share of enemies. Just call me. If you get something, all right? 
be a whole lot easier to do if I were in charge. I know. You made the point. Just watch your back. What's that? Tire tracks in the sand? Yeah. Reminds me that he's always with us, even in the worst of times. Even when we think we're on our own. And I've been there before. So I don't know how things could be so bad for you, Johnny, with this lovely lady on your arm. Oh, no, no. We're... we're not together. <laughs> you gonna fool me? You already hit the bickering stage. Don't tell me you skipped the makeup sex. What's the fun in that? <laughs> Order me the big breakfast, because I just got to check the load, OK? All right, I'll be right there. Get the coffee. Okay, we got two more stops before we get there. Nah, no, nah, I think I think I'm good. Oh, hey, you got a minute? I want to show you something cool. Okay, check this out, right? So I was watching this sci-fi movie, uh, totally not when I was supposed to be working, right? And uh, so I had a lot of time on my hands, and I whipped this up, right? So you can put this here. You can put it here. Matt, you work on that. You sure got us all wrong, huh? You know what? I really think we should start trusting each other. Do you? Yes, I do. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make the first move. It's because I'm that kind of guy. Please, don't make me regret this. I mean it. Listen, listen, I only have a minute, so you have to do me a favor. Would you please pick up Chris and Angela for me? I need you to do it personally, though. I, I, I can't do it. I'm out of it. Special Ops has been assigned to the case now. I'm surprised I haven't gotten in touch with you. Where are you? Uh, I don't know. We're traveling on the road somewhere. Where? Are you with Johnny? Whoever you're with, can you trust them? Well, we don't ever really know who we can trust, right? Yeah, well, good point. We got some trust issues going on ourselves around here. But no, my travel companion hasn't earned my full trust yet, but I'm kind of between a rock and a hard place. Yeah, well, speaking of your travel companion, ballistics came back with a slug from your shoulder. It matches Johnny Graham's gun. Well, yeah. Yeah, but that's not what's weird. It also matches the slug that killed the perp who tried to kill you. No, you mean the one that I killed? Well, that's what I'm saying. You didn't kill him. Your slug was pulled from his leg. His kill shot, that came from the same gun that shot you. doesn't make any sense. All right, if you can't pick up Chris and Angela, can you at least tell me where they are? OK. Are you ready? Write this down, as you know. I'm the Lord your God. I'm holding your hand, so don't be afraid. I'm here to help you. Isaiah 41.13, right? Right as rain. 
Only if it's true. I'm not sure you use a helping hand right now. Uh, you never know where you might find an angel. Take it by there. <laughs> uh, you two are funny. All right. It's on the way. Feet on the ground, the only sound is my thoughts chasing me. You mind if I ask you a question? What happened to you? What do you mean? Well, you know your Bible so well. But it is obvious that at some point in your life, you lost faith. Yeah, that type of bitterness doesn't come from apathy. How did God let you down? Come on, isn't it obvious? Look, I lost both my parents. I was left with the Torinos. Tell me, what kind of God lets that happen? No, I get it. My parents were brutally murdered in front of me. And the guy that did it, He's as free as a bird. So, yeah, I've had my struggles with faith, with our legal system, but my faith sees me through. There's truth in that. Hmm. Let everyone else let us down, so why not give God another chance to fail, huh? Or see us through. This is room 23. Can you please send a taxi? Yeah, 10 minutes is fine. Thank you. Hey, come on. I'll be back in like 20 minutes, OK? Elizabeth, come on. Yeah. Come on. You don't have to go. I can do this. Oh, I'm OK. Well, why don't you stay here? Because I can handle it. I still don't understand why someone hasn't picked Chris up already. Maybe it's a setup, or maybe they're staking out the place. I don't know, but whatever it is, I would feel a lot better if he was here, like, with us. Kid. I mean, first his parents, now this. I'm coming with you. Well, I'm staying right here. Will you lock the door? Yeah. Don't leave. I won't. OK, we need to hit a store where we can get some fake blood. Is this your stuff? What are you guys doing here? All of our locations have been compromised. We have to get out of here now, so I'll just grab this. Wait, didn't you shoot her? Yeah, he did. But we think he's with us now. We think. Let's just go. All right, what am I using to tie him up with? Just use this right here. Watching myself get strangled is creepy. You're really sick, you know that? Well, you know what? I don't know your audience. What is that? Oh, this? You don't want to know. Why didn't you just kill me that night? What? I mean, it would have been a lot easier for you. Okay. 
I'll never hurt you. <laughs> hey, Benny. Boy, Johnny finally did something right. Looks like he had a little fun with it before he actually did her in. A little over the top, if you ask me. It's messy. Unnecessary. Yeah, but you gotta admit, it's not bad for a first-timer. You know, maybe Pops made the right call after all, huh? You're full of surprises. Yeah, well, Chris, this is Dan, and this is Chris. He's our... How are you, Chris? Extra passenger. And you? I'm good. Good. Well, let's go for a ride. Timbuktu. You really didn't have to do that. Just another day at the office, darling. Sorry for the charade. We thought you were better off on the run. We knew where you were, we knew where you were headed. I came along for the ride to make sure you get there. Gave me a better idea whose side you're on. With us all along, huh? Matt, I got a job for you. See, we weren't as out in the cold as you thought, huh? Yeah, right, like you knew. He's been a challenge. Yeah. Sure, this is a good idea. All right, all right. Johnny, who's our new friend here? U.S. Marshal, Dan Stark. It's good to have you back, Johnny. What are you doing? Payback, man. Putting my accounting skills to good use, counting sheep. Payback, this how you pay us back after we protected you? Some protection. What did you expect me to do? Die. Oh, ooh, scary. Maybe Johnny's learned the error of his ways. You know, we came up with a mutually beneficial way Johnny can prove himself anyhow. How's he gonna prove himself to a maggot like you? Whoa! Oh. Get him up. Get him. By eliminating Anthony's remaining witnesses. I assume you got another video for me, Johnny? Anthony so enjoyed the first one. Here you go. Hold on a second, Phil. How about it, Johnny? You like proving yourself to all of us here? Sure. Here you go, Johnny. I'm sorry. Oh. 
clean that up, will ya? Good job, John. You got the other side, Brian. Bill's ego, man, it's gotten as big as his gun. Don't cross him. We can't afford to lose you again. Cops have really been busting our chops lately. Cleaning us out. So you're sure there's no more? Of course there is. Question is, who? Shot. What? Still got shot? Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Still got shot. Thank you. Let's get that. What happened? Where's Brian? Brian was FBI. Ah. Maybe we had him all, but Brian, he was family. Well, who shot you? Brian. I was driving that marshal's body to the usual dumpster. Brian just pulls a gun on me. Tells me to drive him to the hospital. Oh, I guess he thought he could be saved or something. I don't know. He's an optimist. Who knew, huh? <laughs> well, we're driving down this side street. I noticed Brian didn't have his seatbelt on. So I just gunned it. Slammed into a dumpster. Ah, Brian goes flying through the windshield. <laughs> Good riddance, huh? Quite the old tour, Johnny. Hey, Anthony. I don't know where the DA is. Really? Yeah. That's good. Oh! Get him off me. I guess I deserve that. I guess the feds fell for your and Vince's little turn in yourselves implant. Yeah, they bought it. So where is she? She's, uh, the, uh, City View Apartments on Chipley. The place is crawling with marshals. Well, I don't care if she's being guarded by a squadron of Marines, Johnny. Our source is getting a little squirrely. All we got is Johnny's intel. It's good enough for me. Don't roll out the red carpet just yet, Vince. Killing a couple of witnesses doesn't erase the fact that he sold me out to save his own skin. He took out that marshal, too. Three days ago, I'd have taken you out the second I saw you. For what? You did all that time in prison reform me, Anthony. Being in charge changes the way you look at things, Johnny. I gotta respect Pop's final wish. After all, if it wasn't for his timely death, I'd still be in prison. But it still doesn't change the fact. That there's still one person who still hasn't paid for the disrespect. Yeah. She will. Relax, Johnny. She will. Vince, I need a word. <laughs> oh. 
I still feel like we're rushing things here. I don't want to give them time to move her, Vince. There's no way Brian got a warning call off. You're the boss. You want me to bring her back here alive? Yeah. I'm going to watch Johnny finish the job he botched in the first place. And if he doesn't? Well, then I guess I'll have a really big decision on my hands, Vince. Which one of them do I kill first? Elizabeth. Way to get your head blown off. What is going on? Where were you? Nobody's here. It's not possible. What the heck, John? Oh, no. Elmo, Elmo! Put your hands on top of your head. Please give me an excuse. Maybe another day. operation I just found out about. Okay, get your stuff. Come on. I'm getting you out of here. Move it! figured out the identities and locations of the witnesses who are going to testify against Anthony. Are you charging me with something? 27 felonies for murder to extortion. Only 27, huh? I guess my sources are a little more thorough than yours. Well, I can be happy to refine the list for you. So let's see, we had 27, this would be 28, right? Bent? You have something we want. And what is it you have that I could possibly want? How about we take the death penalty off the table? <laughs> Life in prison, huh? I'll pass. I tell you what, before you go play Mr. Negotiator, will you just humor me for a second? 
How the hell is it that I see a bullet pass right through you? And yet, here you sit. You were treated to a special effects show, compliments to the United States Marshal's office. Not bad, huh? Looks like I'm not a better support staff, huh? What's it gonna be, Vince? You gonna take the deal? You know, I think I'm gonna roll the dice with your defective court system. So when you get a deal that's worth chewing on, you know where to find me. You're gonna regret that every moment of that. Because when you're sitting on death row, it's not a happy place. So who was it, huh? Was it Johnny? Was it Brian? Was it Julian that betrayed us? Who was it? All of them? You first. Listen to me. No more excuses, no more lies. You deliver Johnny and that DA in the next two hours or you're dead, period. You understand me? And trust me. It won't be quick or painless. What you did was incredibly brave. I know I, I hate to admit it, and I've completely forgiven you. The thought of me shooting you put a smile on my face. Still. Oh, wow. <laughs> so you're thinking of me, too, huh? Oh, so you do have a sense of humor, after all. <laughs> OK. Oh, uh, well, you know, it's just one of the many, many, many fine qualities that make me the perfect catch. Oh. Oh, come on. You're still trying to pick me up after all this? Well, you know what they say. There's a thin line between love and hate. Right? Yeah, but I think most people start with like, and then they move to love, and you know that's at least before hate and stalking and trying to kill each other. <laughs> I'm dyslexic. I do everything backwards. You do. I mean, it can only go up from here, right? Ah, I do believe a thank you is in order. Well, just doing your job. <laughs> Come on. I got a surprise for you, too. Just a little token of our gratitude. Cool. Hey. 15 years. Got it. Right. What do you got for me now? Generous offer by anyone's standards. 25 years in a fine federal facility. <laughs> well, they do have good food. Weight room, libraries. See, but I would wind up being an old man. Sure, sure. OK, sure. Fine federal facility. In all those years, I never knew Phil was FBI. Well, Johnny, that's what we call being undercover. Surprise! What is this place? Oh, this is a humble little abode we received from a drug lord a couple of weeks ago. You're going to be sequestered here until we get you new identities reassigned. Well, how long? Just a few weeks. OK. Where's our protection? Marshal Stark's coming in with some deputies. They're going to keep an eye out on you. I mean, do we really have to go back into Witsec? Half the Torinos are either dead or they're locked up. Uh, honey, think that it's Anthony is still missing. Even if we were to pick him up and bring him in, he's still going to have a hit on you. Come on, this is the only way. Wow. Oh, it beats a sheep farm. Hello? Yeah, we just got here. This ain't my first rodeo, pal. This ain't my first rodeo. If 
Five years. <laughs> no. Five years. This gotta be your lucky day. Ten years. And you consider that a gift from the U.S. Attorney's Office? One that I'm gonna return. Unopened. Agent Steen is in an interrogation. What? Five years. It doesn't get any better than that. Bill. Well, actually, it's Joe. Susan Anderson. She's their mole. She's got Johnny. Not Elizabeth. We've got to get someone over to China to go right call away. Call the local authorities right now. You, son, I'm finished with you. Sit down. I'm gonna crack open that bottle. So a sheep farmer, huh? <laughs> Elizabeth. Yeah, they give us guns, too. Uh, sorry I broke your car. Actually, no, I'm not, because you're kind of evil. You need to put these on for me. Come on, it'll match your shirt. Make you a man, huh? Does it? Talk your way out of this one. You think I can't get to you? Susan. Elizabeth, I'm so sorry. I never meant to hurt you. 
She betrayed you. She betrayed you. It was payback to Anthony for taking out her husband. And his lover, the boss's wife. I don't have no fury like a woman scorned. How'd you know? Because he's a Jedi. He told me to follow Susan. Still don't know why. There's a look in her eye. A day in the parking lot. She's looking at her best friend. And she's so worried about her best friend. But in her eyes, I saw guilt. I didn't see relief. Let's go. All rise. Have you reached a verdict? Yes, Your Honor, we have. On the Soul County indictment, murder in the first degree, we find the defendant guilty. It is a decision of this court that Anthony Torino be given a life sentence without the possibility of parole. Oh, Dan, hey. How you doing, John? Good. I only got a second. I just came by to see how you're doing. Hey, come on in. Come on in. All right. Making some tea? You want some? Oh, yeah, I love sweet tea. You know that, John. Yeah, so, uh, has everyone been relocated yet, or? Yeah, we just put the last one in place. How, uh, how you settling in? Good. Actually, I did want to talk to you about something. Elizabeth. I mean, we haven't seen each other. I mean, can we email, Skype? Why couldn't we be relocated together? Johnny, you got to be realistic. One of you make one mistake, and you're both dead. That's why we put the rules in place. I'm sorry. Mm. You know what? No one understands us like we understand each other. That month we spent together, it rocked. If it hadn't been for you, a lot of things would have turned out differently for a whole lot of people. It's not like I really had a choice. No, you had a choice. And you made the right choice every single time. And if no one else will come in here and tell you, then I will. Thank you. I, uh, I'm telling you, though, Dan, I don't know. I don't know if I was the one making all the choices. I have been something sort of guiding us or something. Maybe you could call it God. You think you found redemption? Redemption's a beautiful thing. I gotta go. I really gotta go. You take care of yourself, Adam. <laughs> Man, I can't get used to that name. You take care of yourself, too. Hi, I'm Eve. I'm your new neighbor. Nice to meet you. Love comes walking, love comes crawling, redemption of the soul brings a meaning to it all. Children, say it again, say it again. Children, say it again, 
Say it again. 